For the first time, jurors in the murder trial of a white former Dallas police officer who shot and killed her black neighbor saw video from the scene. The graphic new body cam, and graphic is the word. This footage shows the chaotic moments after Amber Geiger killed Botham Jean in his own home. She claims she mistakenly thought he was in her apartment. Omar Villafranca is at the courthouse in Dallas. Omar, what did this testimony reveal? The video was very tough to watch. We learned the results of Geiger's blood test. She did not have drugs or alcohol in her system at the time of the shooting. The jury also saw body cam video of first responding officers, and it showed Geiger just moments after the shooting and Botham Jean's final moments alive. Former Dallas police officer Amber Geiger appears frantic in this body cam video. She told investigators she mistook 26-year-old Botham Jean for a burglar in her apartment when she opened fire. Moments later, you can see one of the officers begin CPR on Jean for seven minutes, who is face up on the floor, bleeding from a gunshot wound. Paramedics arrive about five minutes later. As Jean is being wheeled out of the building, surveillance video shows Geiger, who was waiting in a squad car, hugging and being comforted by fellow officers. In the courtroom, Jean's neighbor, Joshua Brown, said he was heading back to his apartment when he heard the interaction between Geiger and Jean, followed by two gunshots. Did you tell if one of the voices was giving loud commands like, stop police or anything of that nature? Yeah, but no, that, that, wasn't, that wasn't what they were saying. That's not what you heard? No. Later, Brown became emotional, talking about what it was like living across from Jean. Heard him singing every morning. So from in the hallway, you can hear his activities inside his apartment? Mm hmm Yes? You have to say it out loud. I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Yesterday's testimony also cleared up some speculation on how Geiger got into Jean's apartment. A video was shown that showed her key did not work in Jean's door, but investigators pointed out his door did not latch properly and, in fact, was slightly open. There was no signs of forced entry. Testimony resumes later on this morning. Anthony? All right, Omar, thank you.